What is going on guys, Ava here bringing another F1 2015 video and today we're going to be discussing the voice controls yet again like we did a few days ago but in today's video we've actually got some actual phrases you're going to have to say to kind of do things with your engineer, to do things with the pit stops and this is all from the F1 2015 kind of help uh, electronic manual on their website basically and this was actually linked to me by one of you guys, Alex Bishop. I'll link your uh, Twitter in the description so go check him out but uh, yeah he uh, linked me it uh, quite late in the night actually he found it. Um, so yeah, it's basically like a like an e-manual. So they have the controls for like the gamepad and the steering wheel, but more importantly, they have the voice control. So I'll le leave a link to this as well in the description, and you guys can go check it out. But basically, we if, if we scroll down on this page to the voice control kind of part of it, it says the voice control system will allow you to directly interact with your race engineer. Blah blah blah, the, all the usual stuff. It says you have to press and hold the voice controls button, so it won't be like something that's always on at the moment like so if you say something don't like you know panic if you're gonna like say something accidentally that's gonna be close to this phrase you have to be clicking the button to actually activate the voice control so it's very kind of you know there's no way you can accidentally set something or do something or say something to your engineer uh, and then you have to say a list of possible commands um, that you can say and it says here a list of possible commands will appear so it looks like on screen uh, they'll actually give you like some helpful kind of uh, text hints uh, what you might want to say you know let Let's say maybe you're nearing to your, you know, kind of uh, recommended pit stop. Maybe if you click the button, it will automatically know that maybe you're going to be talking about something to do with pit stop. So it'll come up with the phrase phrases for the pit stop. So you have to you don't have to kind of think about it too much about what phrase you might want to say. And then you just say one of the commands as it appears. And then once it's recognized by either the Connect or your PS4 headset. And on the PC, as I said in the other video, it's not going to be on the you know when the game launches. But uh, you know many people have asked Lee. Williams are uh, on Twitter and he has replied saying at some point they will be bringing that feature to PC and patching it in. It was just a case of when they designed this whole feature. It wasn't a kind of fact of we want voice control and we want it to be a huge part. They thought, you know, we they looked at the Kinect, they look at the PS4 voice recognition kind of stuff and they just thought, you know what, let's use the hardware that these consoles have and, you know, build it in there. It wasn't like a kind of first thing they put like, you know, first thing they thought of on the drawing board. Yes, we'll have voice commands. That's going to be a priority. They just kind of I think it might have been like a not an afterthought but kind of down the line they're like what else can we maybe kind of do intuitively with the next gen consoles and this was kind of a big thing but so uh, you PC guys you will have to wait a little bit but eventually there will be a patch for you to do this as well so it is sort of relevant so we're going to look through briefly at some of these commands but it looks like basically essentially this is just going to remove it's going to be like a hands free sort of navigation way almost like you know when you're driving a real life car you know obviously it's in the UK it's illegal to use your car use your phone while you're driving so it's you use your hands-free device on your iPhone or Android devices, whatever you have, you know, the more modern phones have completely hands-free capabilities. So you can call someone by just simply saying, you know, call this person, call that person. This is sort of the same thing, just hands-free, you know, you click a button and you activate the kind of voice so the, the console knows that it's looking for your voice. And then you kind of say whatever you want and you can navigate the menus that way. Interestingly, on the control, uh, if, you, if you scroll up on this website and look at the controls for the wheel and the controller, um, um, nowhere do I see a button for actually accessing this menu manually through the buttons. I'm hoping that's something you can just map, uh, you know, with a selection menu. Hopefully you just tap the selection menu or there's no kind of uh, way to look at the tire, the tire like, kind of part of the menu. I think that might just be a part of like the actual hood itself. You no longer have to actually click it to activate it to show the tires off because I noticed in some of the E3 gameplay, it looked like you the, the kind of menu where you look at your tires on F1 2014, it looked like they'd minimize that and put it in the bottom right corner so it's there permanently and in terms of the selection menu it looks like you just have to like you did before you can just not use your voice commands and just use the d-pad on the xbox or the d-pad on your wheel and kind of do that usual kind of up is you know for rich mix and whatnot but the voice controls i assume you know if they work good enough i assume it would work a bit faster i guess or at least you could do it all mid corner without any major difficulties but let's get through to these phrases so we've got a few ones that you guys might be interested in but obviously you can just read through them yourselves but things i'm going to pick out that i i'm quite interested in obviously box this lap so that's going to be obviously quite important for your pit stop but uh, driver in front so that's quite interesting driver in front you can request detailed information on the driver ahead now Obviously, you guys know, you're clued in on Formula 1, which I hope most of you guys are, being uh, you're subscribed or watching a Formula 1 video. Um, you guys know that team radio is something that's been analysed quite a lot this year and that you're not allowed to drive a coach or you're not allowed to give information about other drivers specifically. So I'm not too sure 
what this is exactly about. Driver in front, request detailed information. You're not allowed detailed information anymore about drivers around you. You're only allowed to know about your pace, but you're not even allowed to learn about how you can take a corner faster or whatever like that. All you can know is, you know, things like, you know, the telemetry on your tire, how the tires are like looking or like, you know, what the brake, you know, there's a critical brake failure. You're allowed to be told that there's a there's going to be a brake failure or something like that. But you're not allowed to just say, you know, if you're, you, if you're Rosberg behind Hamilton, you, you know, Rosberg's not allowed to say anymore you know he can request it but the engineers won't be able to say you know oh Hamilton's gonna you know be pinning this lap or he's gonna be you know break he's breaking a bit later into this corner break later there and you can gain some time you can't really say that so I'm not too sure what the detailed information will be um, I'm guessing I think you are allowed to be told the engineer is allowed to tell you where he guesses drivers are going to pit so maybe if you ask you know if I'm yeah, if I'm driving as like Kimi Raikkonen I'm behind Vettel if I ask driver and if I say driver in front and that's Vettel I can maybe hopefully get some new on when he's going to be pitting soon or something like that or maybe if he's got some issues with DRS or whatnot uh, inform pit window so in, in, in inform information regarding your next pit stop so that'll be quite interesting as well because you know I've known in the past I've mucked up my pit stops where I've just not known what pit lap I'm pitting or what I, f I forget which lap I'm meant to be pitting so that's going to be quite interesting as well uh, the usual stuff just vehicle condition fuel target may be a bit more interesting than previously because obviously previously we had like minus one lap plus one lap and optimum and now in this game, apparently it's going to be on percentages. So you're going to be given a percentage of fuel. I'm guessing the 100% is going to be 100 kg of fuel that you're allowed in the race. So that'll be very important, I guess. Fuel target, you know, if you're really under fuel, you're going to want to know if you're going to need to do some lifting and coasting and kind of get back on that. Although I know most F1 fans aren't amazingly thrilled about the words lifting and coasting uh, related with the sport. Uh, weather forecast. Now, I think that's going to be... Um, personally for me, I, you know, being in the UK and just knowing how unreliable the weather forecasts are from like the BBC and whatnot, I don't know how um, reliable they are going to be in Codemaster. I remember back to many, many times where you look at the screen in the garage and it's saying like, oh yeah, 100% chance of rain. And then it just turns out to be completely dry. They've had a few glitches like that. So I don't know how reliable that's going to be, but uh, all very, very important, I guess, to know all this information. We've got stuff about in-lap. So you just set your tires. So as you, as we just said before, early in the video, you it's just a shortcut for the menu so you say box in this lap and then you say set option tires set this tire set that tire obviously again if you're on the pc or don't have a connect on the xbox you can just do it manually via the buttons and then eventually the pc will get a patch for that and on xbox sadly unless you go out and buy a connect you won't be able to use these features but to be honest personally guys i really don't think it's gonna be that much of a big deal i think you're just gonna be as fast kind of doing this stuff just manually with your fingers it won't be too much of a big deal so this is interesting. We've got specific stuff for practice. So I'm guessing this stuff can only be un uh, only unlocked and said in practice sessions because they've got a whole different heading for practice saying understeer advice or inform oversteer. So basically giving you information about, you know, how to kind of cope with your understeer and oversteer, which is a little bit weird, I guess. I mean, you know, there's no driver coaching allowed, as I've said before. So, you know, it's going to be interesting to see how much that kind of how much information he tells you and what exactly he tells you, because I can't imagine what really he would, uh, for oversteer i can only imagine he'll say i'll oh, just be more careful on the throttle or something so i can't really understand what they're going to say they've also got traction advice um so advice to assist with poor traction so um I know I'm going to use that. <laughs> if you guys uh, know how I drive on F1 2014, I struggled with a lot of traction problems on 2014. Uh, just too, in my opinion, there was just too much wheel spin on F1 2014. So if they've got the same sort of wheel spin amount on 2015, then I'm definitely going to have to use traction advice quite a lot there. Then uh, position update, same sort of thing in practice. Vehicle condition, same sort of thing. Uh, in qualifying, they've got a position update. Inform about your teammate. So you get to know about your teammate. Obviously, that's quite an important part in Formula 1. If you're not able Able to beat others around you the most the most important thing is to beat your teammates so that's just a few little things you can kind of look for uh, look through it yourself and kind of see in detail and let me know what you think about some of these and let me know what you think about some of these commands and what they might mean also i did miss actually one quickly i uh, did actually miss in lap you can actually say adjust wing up and set uh, wing balance and change wing down so that's going to be very very interesting for the first time since f1 i want to say 2010 you're able to change the aerodynamics of your car on board in f1 2010 you had arrow up and arrow down they remove that because they put in curves and uh, uh the drs so they didn't feel like they needed that anymore but obviously we don't have curves anymore we have ers which is automatically engaged 
So this can be quite interesting. Obviously, if you're struggling for like downforce or whatnot, you can go for the next pit stop and you can get your team to adjust the wing. Obviously, that might imp increase your pit stop time. So that's going to be another major thing that, you know, during league races or career modes, you may not want to actually adjust it, even if you are struggling, because that may affect, um, you know, your pit stop. I don't know if the pit crew are able to make mistakes on adjusting your wing. If they did, that would be absolutely horrible and you would lose quite a lot of time. And setting wing balance is your downforce level, uh, set the balance uh, balance position. So so, you know, if you put it up and you don't like it anymore, you can bring it back down to what it was with just selling it, setting it to the balanced position. But yeah, that's been the complete thing. We also got some hidden commands just saying engineer quiet, engineer talk, engineer repeat. Unfortunately, we're not allowed to say, uh, shut up, I know what I'm doing or something like that, <laughs> like Kimi Raikkonen. But I guess, you know, they really couldn't do that. They had to go for like a more uniform kind of uh, command system. But yeah, that's been about the voice commands. And then quickly just showing you some, some screenshots of the controller actual setup for the Xbox One controller they got here and also the TX racing wheel. Obviously, a lot of wheels are provided. They've got a full wheel list on uh, online right now if you didn't know about that, guys. So you can go check that out. But that's been today's video about the uh, voice commands, basically. Once again, thank you to Alex for linking me that a few days ago. But yeah, that's been a video. If you, did find it, if you did find it informative and enjoyed it, give it a like. Comment below what you thought of any of those voice commands. Will you be using voice commands a lot, do you think? Um, personally, for me, I think it might be a thing I use quite a lot in the first weeks and then maybe drop. Uh, but I, you never know. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, a, a few contrasting decisions in the last video I made about this. Some of you saying I probably will use it quite a lot. Some of you did agree with me. It might be a gimmick. So uh, let me know again about all that stuff. But if you're new around here, do subscribe for daily Formula 1 content. I've been over. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll see you guys next time, guys.